Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. I got tired of using my finger to clean out my scoop coder, so I decided to build something for this. This is the sixth video in my series on 3D printed tools for screen printing. I started by disassembling the scoop coder. This is a Ryanet one, yours may have a different profile, so this model may not work for all. Once it's apart, I trace the profile onto a sheet of paper. I scan this image into my computer. If you don't have a flatbed scanner, you could take a picture with your phone. Once I have it in the computer, I straighten it out in Photoshop before bringing it into my 3D software package as a background image. I trace over the profile creating shapes and beveling edges until the model matches the drawing's profile. While I'm working, I'm trying to avoid shapes that will require supports on the 3D print. I print it out and while it's okay, I think it could be better, so I decide to take another crack at it. This time I want to make the handle longer for more leverage, but I also want to create a flat spot on the bottom so it will stand up freely. Here's the new version. While it works well like this, it might be better if somehow the plastic edge were something like silicone. I'm not sure how to achieve that, perhaps by molding silicone casting material over it, or maybe just applying a bead of silicone caulking to the edge. Maybe if you had an FDM printer that could print in two different filaments, you would print one in maybe a TPU or something softer for the edge. Anyway, that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.